I'm gonna start recording. Okay, so I'm recording the session now. Um, recording the video. Anyways, so here we are. <laughs> For those who missed it, um, this is the lovely Trinidad family. Rachel, Steve, um, and her parents. Uh, they're on the bottom row. Rachel's brother, his wife, and then three of four, three fourths of Rachel's children are present in this picture. We're missing her oldest child, Preston. Here he is. Preston uh, was with his father um, in Pen Pen Pennsylvania um, whenever this photo session happened. And so um, we obviously need to include Preston in the large family picture. Um, obviously, they want to have this printed and hung up and uh, displayed in their house somewhere, maybe on the mantle, maybe in the um, family um, in the living room or um, I, I don't know wherever they want to put it but I know for a fact that they want to get a large print of this and so we obviously have to include um, the ever so energetic uh, Preston into this um, and so um, oh hi Rebecca uh, she says she's watching the replay um, no this is not the replay this is definitely the live um, I have not uh, edited this one yet but we're about to do it right now so stay tuned because uh, we are about to um, go ahead and do this. So obviously this is super easy to do uh, for the photographers who are watching. Um, this is super easy to do if you have shot in studio like I have here. So obviously that's one of the biggest benefits of um, you know Luce photography, which I am the proud owner of, uh, is that we do in fact have a in studio uh, location uh, located in South Lake uh, on the corner of 114 and Carroll. Um, and so it's super easy to, uh, in situations like this, when you have a missing family member and you're trying to put them in later, um, it's super easy to do when you have a solid white background or just any solid background in general, um, to go ahead and transplant them into the picture. Um, this, whenever we did this family session, we also did part of it outdoors over in South Lake Town Square, which obviously is very pretty. Uh, but then, you know, the thing with doing uh, a family session outdoors and you plan on adding uh, adding someone later is that the lighting is always different um the location might change a little bit and and whatnot and so uh, it always gets very tricky while here uh, when you do it in studio there's a lot more you can a lot more things to control including lighting including depth of field um all those things so um if uh, for any photographers out there who are running into a situation where um, you have a family that's like, hey, we want to take family pictures, but we're missing um, Aunt Susie or Uncle Bob or Cousin Steve or something like that. Um, always recommend to doing it in studio um, so that way it's a lot easier for you later on, like now, to go ahead and add in that, that missing family member. So um, if that's the case... Um, you know, here, uh, let, let's get, let's get to it, right? Uh, so first things first, um, for those of you, um, you know what, let me just kind of show you guys the raw. So starting off, this is how the image originally looked. Uh, again, like it's a very tight space. Um, so we had just enough to go ahead and fit in the immediate family members um, here. And obviously we had some spaces on the left side and right side that were not covered by the background. So I went ahead and kind of filled it in into Photoshop right here um, for you guys. And I didn't kind of, I didn't want to show you guys how to do that in this particular editing session. I can, if you guys are curious to know how I filled in the space, I can do it later on, but wanted to focus on the adding the family member in particular, in particularly for, wow for this episode. Man, I cannot talk tonight. Anyways, so here we are. We have this family picture here. Um, we have, uh, whenever I was shooting Preston afterwards, uh, I obviously had him pose left side and right side because I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to place him. Um, so with that being the case, I um, went ahead and made sure I got his left side and right side. Um, obviously it's slightly different um, pose. Obviously his hands are in his pockets in this one. Um, and his hands are not, um, but you know, it is what it is. And, you know, teenage boys will be teenage boys. Um, you know, we, we try to get him to smile, but according to mom, according to Rachel, like this is just how he is. And so that's what we are going to, um, to deal with. So with that being said, um, something to keep in mind when, when you are shooting is obviously asking the client, like, 
um, approximately like how tall is the uh, missing family member so that way we can proportionately put him in later on. Um, so with that being said, um, I know that Preston here is exactly the same height as Rachel. And so what we are going to do now at this point is go ahead. <laughs> Rachel just says, can we edit a smile on him? Unfortunately not, Rachel. We we can't. Um, I can, but it's going to look really cheesy, and uh, we don't want that. Um, we obviously want him to look as natural as, as possible, and honestly, I think this is the most natural Preston ever is. So, sorry about you. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, so let's go ahead, and we are just going to go ahead and use our highlight tool. We're going to go ahead and highlight the entire thing and we're going to copy this and we are going to place him right smack dab there. Oh snap, it's too big. So we're going to go ahead and hit command T to use our transformation tool and um, we're going to see how tall he really is. Um, let's go ahead and change the opacity so that way we can kind of see what we are dealing with and I don't know. That looks pretty good. You tell me, Rachel. Um, is this... I think he's probably a little bit taller than you, isn't he? Can we make him shorter since I'm wearing... Plat okay. So, I guess Rachel is, in fact, wearing super tall 4-inch, 5-inch, 6-inch, like, platform. I do remember now. I do remember you showing me your shoes whenever we uh, did this session. And I do... I did remember making a comment of, like, how large... How ginormously large your shoes were. Okay. So... I guess probably about there is kind of what it would look like. I know, I know you're on Rachel, so you're you're gonna have to uh, <laughs> make sure that we get him to the right size. And I want to say, as far as like his face proportion and everything, I'd have to say that's about right. Maybe maybe a little too much. Maybe it's about like right there. Yeah, that, lo that looks right. That looks that looks generally a good proportion, I think. And then I think so. Uh, Rachel says, "Legit, he probably would still be as tall as me with those darn shoes on." Um, okay, well, you know, now you now you got me. Now you got me confused. Now, now I don't know if I should make him taller than you. Is he okay? So Rachel, so Preston is as tall as you, probably with the platform shoes on, right? Probably. It's probably about like right there. Because I think you said. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe you said that he was as tall as your brother, which, with your platform shoes on, you're as tall as your brother, which means, with your shoes on. Preston's as tall as you. So, I'm assuming... Yeah, okay, so I'm assuming this is this is probably correct. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. And, like, the cool thing is, is that with this particular angle, with this particular crop, um, you can't even tell that he's wearing, you know, basketball shorts. <laughs> when, I, when I took his uh, individual picture. Um... So cool. Anyways, boom. We got pressed in. And then so all we're going to do now is we're going to take our selection tool and we're going to use the magic wand tool. And we're just going to go ahead and, oh, nope. Wrong layer. Make sure that we are selecting our background layer. And we're going to go ahead and, um, actually, we're not going to use the magic wand tool. We're going to use the quick selection tool. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to make our brush a little bit bigger. And we're just going to go in here and highlight. All of you guys. Make sure that we get all the fingers in here. Make sure we get all that. Yep, that looks good. Um, I don't know about these little individual hairs. We'll, we'll see what happens, Rachel. We'll see how I feel about it. Um, and then to make it realistic, we can even we have this tiny little gap right here we can make sure that we take out oh, nope that's not what I want to do All right, and it's just, we're just gonna go around the curve right here 
something like that. And then uh, this is going to be, oh wait, that looks pretty good. I'll get right in here. Sorry that I'm zooming in on your boob, Rachel, but things, it needed to be done. I'm sorry. Um, you know what? Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. So, and then we'll just go ahead and I don't think we'll need this, but just for good measure, we'll go ahead and highlight the parents too. So now what we're going to do is, um, open up our layer again, and then we should have the selections already there. And we are simply going to hit delete from, oh, from this top layer and boom, he's in there. Ta-da! And then we're just gonna take the rest of our eraser tool and eliminate the remaining part of Preston's neck. There we go. And you know what? I don't think you can even really tell. Mm. I feel like he should be a little bit closer. I could be wrong. Or, hmm. Actually, you know what I think it is? I think, I think, um, <laughs> uh, can we make them bigger? I'm assuming we are talking about your female body parts and, um, no, I mean, we can, but this is not appropriate for this particular episode. Um, but anyways, um, what I'm noticing is that um, Preston here is not as so if you notice like you guys are a little bit more contrasty your um, like your your clothes and hair is a little bit more darker so then I think what I want to do at this point is go ahead and use the burn tool and we're going to use our midtones here and then we are simply going to go in here and paint it a little bit darker to where he's just a little bit more contrasty. His hair is like super light. Like it's not black hair. It's it's definitely let's go in the shadows and really make it pop just a little bit more. There we go. I think that's a little bit more. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. And then really just to um, I know he has lighter hair, um, but I feel like he's just not as contrasty as everyone else in the um, in the photo. And then really just to um, to put this all together, let's just go ahead and we're gonna take our crop tool and we're gonna make sure that it is in the original ratio here. And then let's go ahead and crop it in just a little bit to where everything is centered. Right about there. And boom, there's your, there's your family photo. Um, obviously to the trained eye, you can tell that a certain someone was Photoshopped in. Um, but um, for the most part, I think this is pretty darn good. Honestly, in my opinion, I think what I'm going to do just because I'm a particular, this is we're going to take our eraser tool and we'll make sure that the hardness is super down low. And then we'll just go in and kind of blend the edge of her shirt. Okay, maybe not like 0%. Let's go to, let's go, yeah, somewhere around there, something like that. some of this out of here. There we go. Ta-da! And that's it. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think. Um, let's see here. Let's check the comments here. Um, FFS? I don't know. FFS? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Um, 
let's see here. Thank you. We only bought uh, the white shirt, so we bought Preston shirt that day that we shot him. Uh, and by the way, he's significantly tanner um, in his arms than his face. I don't know if you noticed that, Rachel. Um, and uh, let's see, we're, this, she's talking about like how his hair is highlighted, um, and the photo looks great. Um, and Rihanna gave me some claps. Thanks, Rihanna. Super excited to be shooting your wedding, by the way. That's um, this Friday, right? Yeah, we're, we're definitely... Um, yeah, you're getting married on Friday. That's crazy. So I'm super excited to be shooting your wedding um, on Friday. Um, so if anyone who's won, who's on, who's watching, um, Rihanna Havens, as you can see in the comments below, she um, she's getting married soon, and I'm gonna be photographing her wedding at the D Dallas Arboretum. Super excited. Um, so, anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions about the, uh, the editing process or anything that I did. Um, Rachel privately messaged me what FFS stands for, and I cannot repeat that on Facebook Live. Shame on you, Rachel. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Um, <laughs> um, anyways, um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any uh, questions about the, the editing process or, um, you know, if uh, let me know how I did uh, in the comments if you, um, you know, I, I don't know. Anyways. Um, let's go ahead and, um, let's go back to some of the social stuff. Um, anyway, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little episode. Um, how long have we been on? Um, not even 20, 20 minutes. Uh, we did five minutes of intro. So literally that only took me about less than 20 minutes to go ahead and, um, import in a missing family member into a, um, into a family photo, um, who wasn't present at the family photo shoot. But um, obviously, we we're able to still put him in there um, due to the power and magic of Photoshop. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys had a, um, a fabulous weekend. Hope you guys have a most blessed week. Um, and as always, um, love on each other and uh, take care of each other. And um, we'll see you again, um, I don't know, Wednesday nights for Bible Talk. Thursday night, we should be back for Legends of Everything. So make sure you guys are following me and um, Gypsy and uh, Alex at The Leader, The Only One um, for Bible Talk. And then, you know, Gypsy and I are on the um, Legends of Everything on Thursday night um, starting at 8.30. And then Bible Talk is Wednesday night at 9 o'clock right here on Facebook, um, and um, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to doing more uh, live editing sessions on Sundays, so I haven't really figured out time, Sundays are always crazy because sometimes I might be working, sometimes I have family stuff, but um, I'm going to try and do more live videos for you guys individually um, outside of all the podcasts and talk shows that I'm a part of, uh, so with that being said, um, oh, you're most welcome, Rachel. She said, thanks. Um, you're amazing. Um, and thanks again for capturing um, our family. You are most welcome. Uh, thank you for all your hard work. And thank you for being fab being the fabulous human that you are, Rachel McGarrow. Um, so with that being said, um, I wish you all a good night. And peace out.